All of us appreciate the power of art to humanize. The arts make us laugh and make us cry. They put us for a few minutes or a few hours in someone else's shoes. They allow us to embrace different ideas or to visit different cultures, if only in our imaginations. For more than 50 years, the Art in Embassies program has done exactly those things. It has played an active diplomatic role by promoting cultural exchange through the visual arts in our embassies and residences around the world. I have personally seen so many of the contributions of this program. I remember a private moment at Villa Taverna in Rome, marveling at a Calder sculpture in the garden. And I'll never forget during my first visit to our embassy in Tokyo last year, seeing the rich display by Japanese artists who had worked, lived, or studied in the United States. The Art in Embassies program offers communities around the world an extraordinary sense of the quality, scope, and diversity of American and international art and culture. Whether it's organizing a collaborative installation in Senegal with local artists or a Navajo weaving exchange in Laos, the Art in Embassies program cultivates relationships that transcend boundaries. It builds trust, mutual respect, and understanding among peoples and it's a fulcrum of America's global leadership as we work for freedom, human rights, and peace around the world. As Secretary of State, I can't emphasize enough how much of American power depends on our ability of just bringing people together. That's why art and embassies are so important, and that's why the dialogue it fosters across cultures, across faiths and nations is so essential to our diplomatic mission. Those of you who know John Adams are probably more than familiar with those wonderful words he wrote when our country was in its infancy. I must study politics and war, that our sons may have liberty to study mathematics and philosophy in order to give their children a right to study painting, poetry, music, architecture, statuary, tapestry, and porcelain. That aspiration is not unique to America. It's universal. We celebrate art because it is the language of peace and possibility. We rely on artists to inspire us, to entertain us, to challenge us, to consider the impossible, and above all, to show us that the impossible can actually be achieved. Art in Embassies is not only a great resource, it's a powerful reminder of our common humanity and the traditions we share. That's a cause worth celebrating and that's how we will find the common ground on which we can work to build a more peaceful, tolerant and prosperous world. Thank you.